Hello guys, welcome to another video from Masters of Consulting. Today we have one of my very good friends. Uh, I know him since almost 15 years. So let's hear from him about his journey towards Germany and Switzerland. Hi Ratsuma. Hi Jay. So I have always been fascinated about research in computer science. And after finishing my undergrad studies uh, in computer science, uh, at SJC Mysore uh, way back in 2014. I worked for about three years uh, uh, where I planned to get some industrial experience and uh, in the year 2016 uh, I started applying for universities abroad mainly in the US and Europe. After long consideration I ended up choosing the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology uh, in Zurich also known as ETH Zurich uh, for my studies uh, since I like the research that's going on there and also the curriculum and also the prospect of uh, the Swiss uh, work culture and all this which really fascinated me a lot uh, for a long time. Yeah. After I received uh, the admits from a few good, very good universities, uh, I went through the research that's happening in these universities and then shortlisted uh, then based on the fields of interest and uh, after particularly looking at ETHS uh, research uh, that's happening in systems and software engineering I was really fascinated that's one thing the second thing is I also saw the fee structure at ETH which is a very big plus because we generally don't have to pay thousands and thousands of francs or dollars or euros it's it's actually affordable that was another main reason why I chose ETH. Uh, even before uh, I landed in Switzerland, uh, I studied a lot about their history and their culture and I was mentally prepared to live in a society which has a very high cost of living. So I had planned it well before and I also got a few friends there like through social media uh, with whom I contacted and the reviews were really good and they helped me a lot when I landed there. It was it was quite easy and not as hard as I expected it to be. So it was smooth I would say rather. On the day I landed in Zurich, uh, I still remember uh, it was uh, somewhat dark at night and it was neither uh, too warm nor too cold. Uh, and a friend had come to pick me up at the airport. Uh, he took me in a tram and I was really happy to see that all trams and buses are always on time and this is one thing which I always appreciate about that place. Uh, during my uh, coursework at ETH, I found that the courses were uh, extremely in engaging and challenging and mostly theoretical in nature. So I really like that way of studying and they do encourage us a lot to do internships anywhere in the world. So uh, during this semester, uh, even before uh, starting my thesis, I wanted to do a full semester internship and I applied uh, all over Europe. And you, even during the time of you know, ongoing pandemic, uh, I was able to get a a uh, good internship uh, throughout the semester uh, in Munich. So it's been a really good experience, I must say. I applied uh, for semester-long internships uh, in many countries, uh, including Germany, France, and Sweden. And it was always my passion to uh, do an internship at a startup because I had never worked in a startup before. So I found a very good opportunity uh, here in Munich, in Germany, and it was near to Zurich as well. So that's the reason why I ended up choosing it. Switzerland and Germany are neighboring countries, uh, though Switzerland is much smaller, but they even share a common language that is German. Switzerland mainly has four language uh, speaking groups that is German, French, Italian and a minority language called as Romanche which is spoken only in one canton. So when, when I talk about German speaking Switzerland, the German that's spoken there is not the same as German that's spoken in Germany. 
it's called Swiss German in Switzerland and it varies a lot even in adjacent villages it can vary a lot so uh, but they do use standard German for all official communications similar to Germany uh, even in Germany I did find that German language is spoke, uh, that's spoken by most of the people varies to a high degree but when it comes to other aspects like you know when it comes to their perfection when it comes to their punctuality the Swiss and German are comparable in that sense both of them are really organized and both of them work a lot they're hard working and most of the times i find them to be extremely honest and sincere though these two countries have so many similarities we can also find many differences in their cultures so swiss generally do not uh, favor confrontation but germans can be straightforward most of the times uh, but these are the minor differences at workplace which should not generally bother us in in a general sense I really like working with either Swiss or Germans and it's a combination which really works well. So when we compare their work culture, uh, be it Swiss or German work culture with Indian work culture, I generally find that people here do not work uh, during off hours, uh, but they make sure that they start the day early and they finish uh, off everything by 3 or 4 p.m. generally. So this is one thing which I really like about the work culture in Europe because uh, they make sure that they do not mix their personal lives with their professional lives and during weekends they make sure to have a good time with their families. Switzerland is obviously very expensive uh, and uh, though it's projected to be very expensive I found that it is could be manageable for students uh, who really uh, plan to live within a uh, thousand francs per month um, as per my experience half of it would generally go for your rent and around 100 francs each for transport and uh, insurance and the rest of the money could be utilized for groceries uh, whereas in Germany uh, since I live in Munich I would say it's not less either it's somewhat comparable uh, even rent here is really expensive uh, but groceries and uh, travel is really cheap and that is manageable yeah uh, university fees and other costs uh, that's uh, particularly related to academics I would say it depends on the university some of them are private and some of them are public and my university being a federal university does not cost me much I think it's around 600 francs per semester or so, just manageable. The cultural shocks were not too many, uh, at least for me, because I was mentally prepared uh, before arriving and had expected most of these. But other things that I personally faced uh, was the difficulty living with foreigners in the same house because we are not used to it generally in India because we don't see foreigners that much uh, but it is not a big deal I felt and eventually uh, m many of them really became very good friends of mine and now I really uh, have a good time with foreigners I don't have that mindset anymore I would say I'm happy to say that I can't remember of any such incidences that happened to me um, maybe in Switzerland or in Germany uh, I felt that it both the countries were uh, equally good particularly Switzerland is kind of welcoming because it's a place of tourism and they generally uh, see lots of tourists around and they generally do not bother you unless you bother them of course <laughs> Coming to language, uh, I would say Germany uh, kind of stipulates that you should know some German if you want to live here comfortably. Uh, but in Switzerland, it is quite possible to live uh, normally without knowing German, though you would not feel that you can integrate yourself with the localites there. So it's always my suggestion to know German at least to a conversational level if you're living in either of these countries. I would probably try to uh, apply uh, for companies in both the countries 
Uh, Switzerland is my first option uh, because the salaries are higher there, of course. Uh, but I would apply uh, in Germany and other European countries as well, uh, since I have uh, really liked the way people work here. It has really inspired me uh, to consider uh, you know, having my professional career in Europe at least for a few years. Uh, eventually, I would like to go and settle back in India. So for anyone who is planning to come to Switzerland to study, uh, I just want to tell them to uh, be prepared because uh, the courses can be uh, a bit challenging and sometimes it can be a bit too theoretical but it depends on the university of course and uh, knowing some German or French if you are going to a French speaking part uh, would really help you a lot because it would easily help you to integrate uh, with the local people there and uh, other thing is the food that you find here many of you might not really uh, enjoy the food but I would you know encourage you to give it a try and of course you can always find Indian shops and you can always you know get all the raw materials needed to cook whatever you want most of the Indian dishes could be prepared really well here yeah so Rajima thank you thanks a lot for your time ah it's been my pleasure thank you and I hope this content will be very useful for you people out there so guys if you want them to make exciting videos like these uh, please share your views in the comment box so it's below if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Now we are Mother Tongue Kannada. You can this content is not like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Until next time. Namaskar. Bye.